What is up, my pizzas? Corey Vincent here, and the reason Emma's laughing because I said a hilarious joke right before the show. That's 100% not true. Hey, everybody. Hope you uh, had a great weekend. Uh, we are in the middle of our weekend. It's Saturday. Uh, David Webb, uh, first guy, how you doing, man? Doing good. Did you, did you ever think about the fact that when somebody listens to our podcast on Monday, they're going back in time? Yeah, it happens every week. We just never acknowledge it. Oh, crap. Did I mess something up by acknowledging it? What? What? Did I mess something up by acknowledging it? You did. You ruined a really good thing. Okay. Uh, how you been, yeah. man? I've been good. Yeah? Good. Um, uh, what did I do today? Oh, uh, we went to a birthday party today. We did go to a birthday party, yes. We talked about this a little bit before the show. It's He was the two-year-old was like the most chill two-year-old I've ever seen in my entire life. I agree. Like, he had this constant look of not like, not like the lights were on when no one's home, but more like, I've seen all this before, people. <laughs> like, let, let's keep it moving. <laughs> more like the lights are on everybody's home. And, like, yeah. he's sitting there calculating all the different possibilities of how something is going to go down. Because we'd see him at different parts of the day. Like, one, he was on a swing, and his face just looks the same. Stoic expression, <laughs> like, yes, push me on the swing. <laughs> and then later, he was hitting a pinata. He's got a stick in his hand. He's beating the crap out of this thing, and he's still got this look of, ah, what's next? <laughs> savage. Savage kid. Savage two-year-old. Uh, Emma Skies, what's up? Why did I forget what words are as soon as you got to me? Ye I it's been a weird... You know what? There was a really good pre-show, uh, and by pre-show, I mean the five minutes before we go live when Webb and I were just crying laughing, and yeah. I don't remember what words are anymore. It's it's natural. And you want to know what? Even when we thought that they could hear us, they couldn't hear us. I was so disappointed. So me too. Perfect. Been perfect. They didn't hear us until like two seconds ago. You guys missed out on are so much. Are you serious? Much. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, as soon as he started, they couldn't hear anything. No, yeah. no, no. He's talking about literally right now. No, I know. I was reading it in chat. Oh. Yeah. Like, while we were live, they couldn't hear anything. Was it recording for the podcast? Yeah. Oh, cool. So That's if you want to hear what <laughs> happened in the first 10 seconds of the show, download it on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, Sound Blast, Blaster Case. Um, Blaster oh, Case went Blast down. Oh, did they? Yeah, did it it's it? in the show notes later. Oh, well, rip, rip F in the chat for I them. Know. They're, they're our, biggest, our biggest source, too. Um, if you can, you can start giving the show five stars and a comment so that more people find it. Uh, if you enjoy the show and you listen to it already on one of those fantastic platforms, you can stop by and hang out with us live on twitch.tv slash video game underscore bang. It happens like quite often. We'll get those guests that come in and be like, hey, long time listener, first time Twitch, and you get brought into the family. You get to meet Sergeant Squiggles, Special Cases, uh, who else we got in there? Star Killer 195 uh, all these beautiful people, you can hang out with them, get to know them, and be part of the VGB family. Uh, we're also brought to you by Oblivion Comics and Coffee. Come for the comics, stay for the coffee. Um, they Let's talk about this for a minute. So they won the Calling All Dreamers contest. Yeah. And it's been a year, and they had another contest. And their, like, protégés ended up winning. Uh, yeah. Neo Escape Room. I'm really excited for them to open. It's going to be fun. Are we uh, doing an escape room, guys? Yeah, is that a, is that a question? Yes. Emma seems. Concerned. I don't know. Like you said, you guys, but you looked at me. Well, because I, I don't can't know. see Corey. There's a there's there's, there's a. a I don't know here. what sort of power I have over this decision. You have all the power, Emma. Ooh, okay. Ask me in a few months. I'll figure this out. I feel like <laughs> taking Emma into one of those would be really risky because we've seen how she is on video games. Like she's the first to backstab and resort to cannibalism. Yeah, but I'm, I'm good at puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It, it'd be like... That wasn't even a joke. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't a joke. The fact that you didn't deny the cannibalism. Oh, like, yeah, Like, yeah, no. I'm a cannibal, but I'm really good at puzzles, you Which guys. Which means I won't have to resort to cannibalism, because I'll get us out of there. No, it means if we get stuck in there, she turns into Jigsaw real quick. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, and then we don't... That yeah. just adds to the thrill. No, it doesn't. Uh, so Neo Escape Rooms, congratulations to them. Uh, I hope to have them on the show here pretty soon. Yeah, that'd be cool. More Sacramento love. It's a game. It's like gaming, sort of. Yeah. With your life. <laughs> you play with Emma. <laughs> it's like gaming, but you have to leave your house. Yeah, exactly. It's a different server. Uh, can we announce the other one yet, or we gotta wait? On uh, that one? no, we're still in the works. Okay, we got another uh, one coming. Did you cover Vast. Uh, Vast.gg. Vast. Uh, 
Uh, what, what, what's more to be said? They market your business. Yes. That's it, right? Yeah? Got it? Uh, it's going to be an interesting show. There's going to be some opinions and some uh, news stories that come up that I think Emma feels quite strongly about based off of the pre-show. Um, do We just we wanna... just lost half our viewers right there. <laughs> Guys, come back because I feel strongly <laughs> about it too. Yeah. It's I, not just Emma. It's not just Emma, but we all feel very strongly about these things. But first, uh, in the pre-show, I, was, I, I found a way to take my old band CD and... First of all, I just, I treated it like a flash drive. I don't know what happened in my brain. I forgot completely like the anti-piracy back then in those days. So I put the CD in. And I tried to just rip it to the desktop, and it came as like some weird ass file. Oh, so I was yeah. like, I was like, oh my god, I have to rip a CD. <laughs> Can you do that in 2018? Does the technology exist? And yes, it does. It does exist. I brought up the little Windows Media Player. Yeah. And it said right up at the top, rip. Oh, and while snap. you guys were in here dilly-dallying, I was in there actually fucking ripping a CD for like 15 <laughs> minutes because the technology has not sped up <laughs> since 1999. <laughs> like, I, I, just remember, I just remember seeing watching it and seeing the word ripping. So I ripped the CD. I played it for everybody at the beginning of the show. Uh, Emily, you didn't seem too impressed with it as, as much as I thought you would be. Uh, to be fair, I wasn't really listening. Okay. Uh, you can see I have my headphones not on. Why? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. She's concerned about another theme song. <laughs> she, are you concerned about another theme song? Is that what's happening? I might be. She's still traumatized. You know, I like to I like to stay safe. I believe you feel like you're... I mis- practice ear safety. Stay safe, stay alive. You felt like you were misquoted uh, on last week's oh, show? Oh, I 100% was, and I'm going to sue you for it. I put out a tweet. A slander. A promotional tweet for my theme song that said, Critics are raving. Emma Skies says it feels like it's in my ears, which I believe is a direct quote. That is a direct quote. But the context, the in, the implication of it... Was not it was not within the spirit of what I said. You had the denotation of what I said. You did not have the connotation. I, can someone go back and Twitch clip and replay that moment here, and then we'll be the judge a little bit later the, on in the you, show. You got to There's that, no way to convey in court of law, the sound though? of fear. Maybe it was <laughs> fear. I uh, see. Now it's just hearsay. Yeah, now it's just hearsay. I've been watching lawsuits. If you uh, want to hear that amazing theme song, go back to the last week's episode, which I think was a great one. I love that episode. It was a good episode. You learned a lot about us through our five favorite games, uh, you know, the games that shaped our lives, I believe it was. Uh, such a good premise. But uh, without much more ado, it would be really cool if the podcast gods would bless us with the theme song. Uh, so if you'll join us all in a word of prayer. Uh, Emma, would you lead? I'm absolutely not going to do that. I mean, when you join this show, you realize there's going to be sacrifice to the podcast god, right? I can sacrifice you to the podcast god. <laughs> it would be the best I'll honor. sacrifice my dignity. It would be Because when you sacrifice yourself to the podcast god, you go to Podhala. And what you is get... happening? <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know what we're going into. We're flirting with a line into. right now. <laughs> oh, there it is, everybody. Whoa. Wow. Oh, boy. Ask and you shall receive the podcast god's. Sent us uh, an alley oop right there by saving us from going. I, I almost explained Pod Holla to you guys, and I'm. An ala oop? Huh? Oh, not Allah. Never mind. Pod. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Emma, since I happen to know what you've been playing, and I'm very curious. I have been playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider all week. Okay. Now, I asked you last week. You didn't have enough time to judge. This is gonna. I'm throwing. I'm throwing a, a curveball at you right here. Okay. Spider Man. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I can only buy one. See, that's a very difficult question because they're very different games. <sighs> they're very different games. One is a standalone. I only have one 60... One is a sequel. Oh, okay. I have to know what your preferences are. Do you like, like, an action adventure with, like, stealth options and lots of murder and more Spider-Man. murder and a lot more murder? So or do you want to play Tomb Raider? I don't know what a Tomb Raider is or a Spider-Man. I just need you to give me the one that I'll have the most fun with. Spider-Man. Well, if you didn't know what they were, I would tell you to get Spider-Man because Tomb Raider is the third game in the franchise. You shouldn't start with that. Mm, the okay. premise of the question okay. is flawed. Mm. No, no, it's true. That, that's I a mean, good reasoning. It's good we, reasoning. We started with the third chapter of a series or technically the fourth chapter of a series some decades ago and it worked out just fine. Go fuck yourself. Damn. That's how it was cuz that's how it was made to be to be uh, digested by the viewer, all right? Interesting. And it wasn't called episode 4 when it came out. It's a suck a dick. Irregardless. 
I wonder if you know who Pekin is. Damn. <laughs> Drop those Emma <laughs> Emma rages in the chat, people. So give give us the rundown. Uh I so I really like it so far. I'm about halfway through the game. I think I'm sitting at like fifty six percent. I think it's a little slow to start. There's like, uh, I'm not going to say anything about the story for you guys that haven't had a chance to play, but there's, it does, it kind of does that, that Tarantino thing where like it starts you with this, you know, this image or this, this scene. And then it's like two days earlier and like you play up to the I'm scene. really getting sick of that. It takes an Everybody's hour and a half that. to get back to where you started. Oh my The prologue God. is an hour and a half. Does she have, does she have a bow and arrow in this? Yes. That's um, all you need. <laughs> and so she's, she has a bow and arrow. She's on an island. And she's time jumping to the past. She's not on an island. She's not on an island. No. You know that what? was the first game. That was one thing that pissed me off about Spider-Man. I know what you're going for now. Is, uh, do you remember when uh, Mary Jane, you have a stealth mission, and mm-hmm. then you run into Spider-Man. And then uh, it says 15, 15 minutes, minutes earlier. And I swear to God, it took me like 30 to get through that mission. <laughs> so you got to be careful when you're in a video game environment and you say 15 minutes before, Corey had to do this 20, 26-minute mission to get you back to this point. Well, I don't think they intended for it to take you 26 minutes to do it. I think that might be on That's you. inconsiderate of them. Very incons- <laughs> they, should, they should consider people of all different game levels. Uh, but so far, I really am enjoying it. I think it's a little bit slow to start, a little slow to get into the, the story. And I think it's a little light on combat. I wish there was more combat. Hmm. Just uh, say killing. We all know you mean killing. I mean killing, yes. That, okay. that is implied in the combat. <laughs> what I, one of, or we talked about it last time. It has like the different difficulty levels that you can move for different things. Um, so I'm about halfway through. I think it's a little light on combat so far. But other than that, I'm really enjoying it. I think Rise is so far still my favorite of the of the three but we'll see if that that. changes in the second half what would this one have to take if it's you've already experienced the mechanics right yes so you're basing the rest of your decision solely on the story the story yeah and so far i base all of my gaming decisions on for the most part because i'm more of a narrative player okay all right look i'm a little bit of a narrative player yeah that's what i am Mm. (laughs) uh the real david webb what have you been playing i finished spider-man Oh, so we could all give all the spoilers now, yeah, right? Yeah, I think we right? can. Uh, I think, you know what? It's been a week. <laughs> nah, I don't want to do spoilers. Ah, we should do a spoiler just, cast, we're, though. We're we should. We should. Put because, it on our Patreon. Because, all right, so I'm not going to give specifics, so special cases, just chill for a second. The, the, there's two cutscenes. It's Marvel. So there's two cutscenes during the credits. The first one, Emma and I had already <laughs> talked about this. When we saw it, when you saw how it started, we both and we'd been playing it separately. We no idea what the other one was doing. Like both had fat ass grins on our faces the, the entire cutscene because we knew what was happening and we were right. And it's amazing. And I hope they do more with it other than just the fact like, yeah, that's a thing. So did you just talk about this whole thing without talking about it? I did. Oh. That's how skilled I am. All right. Um, the story itself actually had fun. Uh, I thought it was a, a good story. It picked up a lot, like halfway through. And yeah, it does. It's uh, I recommend it. I beat the game at seventy three percent completion, oh seventy one percent completion of the game, and like level thirty three, which I think Emma tried to make me feel bad about before, but that just means I didn't. I needed less skill to beat it than she did. So it just means okay. you're slow. Uh, tomato, tomato. I like how because I beat it at a higher level than you and faster than you. <laughs> yeah, but I Jeez. beat it. Well, technically, I beat it faster than you because I was only at seventy three percent completion, and I beat it at a lower level. So I didn't need to be as strong as you to beat it. But it took I still you beat it a longer time to get to that lower level. Same amount. Of time All right. Do you need out. me to cut in here and tell you whose EP is bigger? <laughs> Jeez. No, let me know. Here, you guys cut both your beat Twitch the dreams. game. You both had fun. Let me know how long they were. Actually, I can look at it right now. <laughs> no, you are you serious? You I'll care right about now. this that much? Well, now that it's been brought up, okay. You guys, you, you talk. I'm gonna find. Corey, I, I think it's box. cool how all three of us played this game completely different ways. Yeah, Emma, we did because you went into it. You know what though? It's kind of reflective of how we play other games in a way, especially for you, Corey, because you tend to go towards a tank. In yeah, the other games. Like a support player, yeah. And that's what you did in Spider-Man. You, uh, you leveled up all the things you needed to do to be close to invincible and yeah. and one-shotting people. I wanted to, yeah, I wanted just to uh, play the game, get like super overpowered and just breeze through the final boss because yeah. I grinded all the side stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I did, like by the end, I just hit level 50 like last night and I'm almost... 
hundred percent completion with like all the crimes and areas to unlock the last costume. And then I'm probably just going to trade it in, but it was a lot of fun. You have to pay the DLC. Uh, I'll just borrow it from you. <laughs> just give me your disc. So and... once you get to level fifty, do you have to start building up your light level? <laughs> no, no, no. This okay. isn't Destiny. <laughs> no. So I now I have a system in place to where I could basically knock out any dude in the game just with like three punches, if you stack the right items and abilities and stuff and hit the highest higher levels. So I'm having fun with it now, just going through cleaning up the cities. I used to try and be tactical when I was stopping like a crime. I'd yeah. you know, walk around the buildings and stealth kill someone. Oh yeah. Now I just slam right into the middle, superhero <laughs> slam, and then just start punching people until they all fall down. So that's how I do it. I don't do stealth unless the only time I do stealth is for the um, like the prisoner camps or the like the warehouse kind of stuff. Oh okay. I'll do stealth uh... for like the first wave. And then everything else, I just jump in. Because once you get that skill where you can, like, slam into the ground from a height, I just, that's how I open every single fight. I just knock everybody around you out of the way and then start taking them out. Back to what David said. I'm now starting to see it when I look at Emma. Like, about how we approach uh -huh. the game. Because she approached it on the highest difficulty. So she did that to herself. That was yeah. a conscious decision to yeah. say, I'm going to make this game harder on myself. Mm -hmm. And then streamed it and, like... Refused to do anything that would have made the game easier. It like, felt like cheating. I didn't want to get the bulletproof it's power. It's not cheating. It feels like cheating. If it's, it's in the game. Not, if it's in the game and they give you levels and they put all these mechanics into the game so you could play and have fun and variety. It feels like cheating. So when I'm unlocking skills and perks and making the game like and making myself OP and shaping into this beast, you know, Spider-Man yeah. who can one punch everybody. <laughs> and like by the time I get to the last final boss, like. He just bows down to me, yeah, and, it, he, and this says game over. Yeah. But watching Emma stream, she put it on hard. Every time I was like, why don't you use this ability or equip that? It'll make that easier. She's like, no, I have to do this my way. It's, exactly. She's going to make this hard as possible. Why do you do this to yourself? Why did she sound like James? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way that I like to play my games. Although, update, I did look up our times. So you beat it in... 15 hours and 13 minutes. Okay. I beat it in just over 17 hours. However, as oh, you now mentioned, a however. I was on the hardest difficulty. Oh, okay. So now she's throwing technicalities into so, it. So. That helps you sleep at night. But I um, will say, I will say I it took me two more hours than it took you on the hardest How difficulty. do you see that? Do you just see it through Twitch? Uh, I just added up all of his streams. Oh, so that's like, I mean, did you take away the 40 minutes you just sat through the tr the credits? <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, because at the end of my last stream, there was like two hours, two and a half hours that wasn't story anymore. So I just chopped that off. Huh. So I have the entire story mode in my stream, and it's like 17 hours. Good Lord. Uh, Yeah, so Emma does that. I, I actually try to do more stealthy and take out as many people as I can before I get into the middle of it. That's and and I do that with other games. In other games, if I have the option to play a range character, I'm a range character, because I'd rather just kind of be on the outside picking people off. Coward. Hmm. Jeez, she has it out for you today, dude. <laughs> she does. That's okay. Damn. Can we get some sensu beans for David Webb in the chat, please? Uh, How David. About you? David, have you played anything? Oh, that was you. You played Spider Man. Yeah. So we got Rise of the Tomb Raider, Spider Man. I've Spider been the Tomb Raider. I've been playing. Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, bonus points. I've been playing. I, mean, I asked you first. So there, Did you really? You no, know, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, if nobody wants to listen to me, that's cool. <laughs> what I'm you been so playing, Corey? Deduction <laughs> points for uh, self deprecation. Thank you so much for asking. I played Call of Duty, the new Ooh. blackout mode. Ooh, now, before you turn that frown upside down, Emma, <laughs> because this is the PUBG killer, everybody. It's going to murder the game. No, it's it's You good. can't kick a game when it's down. I Ooh. mean, this is doing it. I mean, because so the only one we that's yet to be seen, I think, is the Battlefield Battle Royale version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is really good. This is good. It, so it's, from what I saw, it's similar to PUBG, but very true to Call of Duty. Yeah, exactly. Which is awesome. So, so it's like PUBG with a higher production value? Sort of. I mean, it's like, it's a, it's a love letter to their fans. <laughs> Yeah. To twelve-year-old assholes. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, she's not hey, wrong. I was one of those. I was a twelve-year-old asshole that loved Call of Duty. All right, I've been there. You grow <laughs> out of it. It's okay. So <laughs> it, the state of battle royales is pretty weird. Like Fortnite is still clearly king, and then everybody else is fighting for the scraps. And we saw about uh, Realm Royale come out, you know, and looking so good. 
and then high res making some very bad decisions to just upset their player base. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whatever happened to your, oh, this is going to be the one that crushes them all. It was supposed to be, <laughs> but the developer, what it, for whatever reason, didn't listen to the community, and then they, 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 they've upset a lot of people. And so now this one's coming out of the woodwork. First person shooter. It's exactly Call of Duty. Like it looks, feels, plays. You got the little slide. They put everything from the Treyarch awesomeness into this. Mm -hmm. So there's zombies. Like I dropped in the asylum area and I was like, oh, asylum sounds cool. That'll be my first drop. So I go in there and I find like, you know, loot and stuff. And I'm still trying to learn the system and I'm messing through the windows and stuff. And all of a sudden I just start getting punched. And I was like, oh, God, someone's in here. And I turn around, and it's zombies. <laughs> and my first death was to zombies. And I was like, this is the amazing. The AI got you. This is amazing. Like, And then they threw in things like the ray gun from the zombie mode. You can get oh, that. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, and then each drop zone is based off a map. So there's Nuketown, basically. And they expanded Best it. Best map in the game. Yeah. What? It's really fun. Uh, it's. I like that one of the things you can get, one of the things you can pick up is the RC car. Yeah, that's in there. It's like a tactical thing. It doesn't yeah. blow up or anything, but you could like use it to scan around. Yeah. Um, I tried all the modes. I, I played for a solid like four hours the first day, and uh, it, I had a lot of fun. What What else can I say? Emma, I think this is the one to bring you into Battle Royale. No. What would you, okay? You know what? I'm curious. What would a game have to do to do, to be Battle Royale for you to play it? I just don't care. It like PUBG is the battle royale that I like. It's the one I started. It's like I, I'm sticking with that. That's what I'm happy with. I'm cool with it. What would the game though? But what would the game have to do to make you care? Like what? What would be the thing that somebody did differently in battle royale that you're like, that's interesting? Or is there any? If they made it a single player narrative that wasn't battle royale. Oh my god. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> Not everybody likes all things. You know, like you're you're ruining your image to everybody because. Everybody can suck a dick. Ba uh, who isn't into battle royales right now? Like, I'm not. I'm I'm not either, but I have to pretend to be so I can function See, you're fake. in society. You're fake. You're I'm basic. real. <laughs> Speaking of real, hashtag kill shot. Did you guys listen to that? Have you no, been following no. this whole thing? I'm so confused on what's going on. I keep seeing something about a diss track, and then I saw a, 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 a tweet from Machine Gun Kelly saying, man, Eminem is so good. He makes me want to quit rap music, LOL. And then and then I see all these things like that's a response to Eminem's diss of him. And I'm like, is that a diss? Because it sounds like he's, I, I don't know. What's happening? So what happened was uh, Eminem came out with that surprise album, Kamikaze, and he went back to the old M. You know, okay. he's, he's, throwing, he's throwing mad shade at people, at folks. And, uh... Then Machine Gun Kelly, like two days later, came out with his own song that was just a full like attack on Eminem, uh, like from his beard being weird, which was a great rhyme. That's a rhyme I can get behind. <laughs> to like saying he was gonna go like have sex with his ex-wife Kim, all this crazy stuff. Damn. It just came at him, and everyone was like, "Ooh, when's Eminem gonna respond?" Ooh, and then like a week later, he finally did with this new track, Kill Shot, and he moitied him. He moited this kid. It, it's so good. What? That's... What, Emma? You seem so... Are... I don't know why that word makes me uncomfortable. Moited. <laughs> what? It's too close to moist. Oh. And goiter. It's a moist goiter. Oh, so... why would you say something like that? Mm. That was that was the um, consensus that I found online, was that people were definitely saying that Eminem won... Yeah. And that it's like MGK is done. I hope he doesn't try and reply. Like I, I hate when you when someone gets you just just, just take just it. Take the L. Move on. Yeah. Um I did think that Kill Shot was another battle royale game that was coming out when I first saw it trending on Twitter. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> well, it was like the same day too <laughs> was, like the beta yeah, came out. I was getting confused between Blackout and, and Kill Shot. I think they got something there with Blackout. I think it's a good mix. It is a love letter to Call of Duty fans, as stupid as it sounds, because like even I would drop somewhere like the Supply Zone and uh -huh. see parts of maps that I spent. I remember spending so much time on back in the day, and they just recreated them, put them in this battle royale. It's just I don't know. It's cool. That's cool. Um. All right. It's time to get into the nitty gritty. Here we go. Uh, Oh, 
Flip's <laughs> telling <laughs> the news. <laughs> what? I missed what was happening over there. I was Where playing was the like track. Tickling a dick in his <laughs> What? <laughs> I was playing the trombone. <laughs> I was That's playing the trombone. trombone. What's the trombone? Wait, wait. The trombone is the sliding one. Which one's the horn one with the buttons? Can Saxophone, clarinet, bassoon, oboe, bass clarinet. Keep like, going. Uh, it's a horn. It's a horn. And it has a French horn, <laughs> trumpet, a bugle. Trumpet. That's it, the one. This he... is also not a trumpet. That's not how you play a trumpet. That's how I play a trumpet. <laughs> I've been trained by Juilliard trumpetists. <laughs> okay, can someone please Twitch clip it? And then I will be the judge because I missed it. I want to see... I'm playing the clarinet. But it just looked like What's funny is as, it, what's funny, <laughs> as I was saying it, I was like, someone's going to make a dick joke. Someone, but oh, no. It's already happening. Oh, oh no. Oh, Craig. Uh, I was like, does he know what he's doing? Good Lord. Let's talk about In Titans. In what universe is let's that talk, a trombone? Let's talk about Titans. <laughs> oh, let's. Yeah. Distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I didn't see the thing, but I remember being quite impressed with the first trailer. So you're gonna have to have a pretty ac- big, big schmear campaign. Oh my god! Campaign I remember here. listening to that when you were like, "This trailer's so good," and I was like, "What the fuck is he on?" I thought it was good. It's heinous. No, uh, well, can, tell me so, I'm wrong. So we've got a bit to talk about with Titans because we haven't talked about it in a while, and over the last uh, two or three weeks, we've gotten a few things. So we'll start with going back the furthest. Uh, about two weeks ago, we got new character posters. For Teen Titans, so like new, just individual posters for each of the four. Uh, if you look at the show notes, they are in there. Well, three of them are in there. They don't look good. <laughs> they do not look good. They are mm. going, if you guys haven't seen them, um, they're going full creep factor with Raven. Like, she's in some sort of asylum with a bunch of upside down crosses on the wall. Her eyes are black. She's holding a doll because dolls are creepy. I'm like, where, how hard are we going to push this? Like, we get it. You want her to be creepy. Whatever. But just, oh. So it's too much. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm seeing the photo here now. Yeah, this looks like a character from The Ring. It's real bad. Ooh, yeah, it does. It's real bad. Like, oh, ma- oh. Makeup is all screwed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what, what the would you... The doll, like, pushes it over the edge for me. I'm the, like, I get it. Were you hoping they'd go in the more of, like, creepy, I'm the creepy hipster girl just with, with purple hair? Well, like, she doesn't need to be this, like... Hot topic reject. She doesn't need to be creepy. She just needs to be moody. She doesn't need to look creepy to be the daughter of a demon. I mean, <laughs> this is what she is. She doesn't need to dress like you know in trip pants and whatever. Okay. It's just, it's just, it's so much. It's too much. Uh, the one that looks really good at first glance is Beast Boy. Okay. At first glance, it's like he looks pretty legit. Like he's green, which is great. We finally got that. His you know stance looks fine. But if you look at the room around him. It's all, like, clawed up, because uh, there's a thumbnail in the show notes version, but in the full version, like, the room is trashed, there's claw marks all over the wall, like, it's just been destroyed by some sort of animal, which is, like, why? Because I, it's like, they're going for uh, Is his... this on the set, or is this just promotional images? It's promotional images, but I think it you're reading a little sense, because what it looks like is that they're going to go for, like, he's some crazy animal that can't control himself, when he, but he's still him when he shapeshifts. He's just a weird nerd. Uh, like, it's just, it doesn't fit. The The problem is that they don't fit the feel of Teen Titans. Oh, you want to talk about the feel of Teen Titans? Let's go to the next one. That one? Yeah. That one? That's the one. And Starfire one? Yeah. Starfire is whatever. I mean, it looks like everything else is like, her eyes are green, which is nice. They're green and glowing, which is cool. Her hands are on fire, which is great. But, like, she's still wearing the same costume that they've been saying. coat and purple dress. Forever. They're like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. This isn't what she's going to be wearing. She's just undercover, so that's what they're going to use. Except that she's wearing it in every single picture they've released up until now. She's always undercover. She's always wearing that. And it's like, maybe it's all from the first episode, whatever. But it's just like... So I think uh, from these promotional images, it gives one feeling of like, ooh, high production quality. But then when I go down and see this image of them standing in... Oh, it's I, a back alley? It, yeah, it, it's like... The Mystery Men. It's kind of like... Oh my God, the Ben Stiller movie? That's a great movie. That's where we got... Uh, <laughs> the Waffler. Smash Mouth, uh, All Star. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Remember the music video? in there. Yeah. Dane Cook is in that movie. Good song. Is he? Is he? The Waffler. Oh, what? it's like I'm a cameo. Sure. Yeah, a I'm cameo. pretty sure that's him. Yeah, it's a cameo. Uh, but yeah, they... This looks so... awful. This looks cheesy. It, it looks, looks real bad. It, it kind of looks like an episode of Glee. 
It does. And it's so one of those, like, it's you look at the picture. Episode. Yeah. So uh, for those of you that are in chat, um, we're, we're talking about the, I, th- I want to say it was released today or a couple days ago. It's the first picture of all four of them together. Um, oh, yeah. There you go. You put that up on screen. Um, and not one of them fits with the other and not one of them fits the environment. The best thing I saw about this was somebody said, boy, I'm really glad that Hot Topic and H&M are collaborating on Halloween this year. Mm. God. (laughs) And, like, it just looks so bad. And this was a picture that made me finally realize what Starfire looks like. She looks like an undercover vice cop. Because she doesn't look like a prostitute. She looks like what somebody thinks a prostitute looks like. In 1983. (laughs) And it's just, why... DC costume department, what are you doing? I just, uh. I have, I, it, it's, it's infuriating. It's very, it's, it's very upsetting. I heard there was some upsetting. stuff going on too with the, the timeline. Oh, with the, okay. With the Robins or oh, okay. what's that? Explain that. So, here's, <laughs> this is what triggered me. But you had the timeline wrong. I had the timeline wrong. You got wrong. triggered because you had the timeline wrong. I got triggered wrong. and then I was untriggered and then I was re-triggered. It was an emotional roller coaster before the show. This whole time you were ripping a CD, I had my emotions being played with. <laughs> so we were both had struggles. Uh, so in the show, they're going to have Dick Grayson as Robin. Yes. Which we knew. But they released a clip today because it's Batman Day, right? Mm-hmm. Happy Batman Day. That uh, and to you. And may the Batman be with you as well. And <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> In the clip, you have, uh, it's like, it's just something like the awkward moment when you meet your replacement. And it's Jason, it's, uh, it's Dick Grayson out of costume. Like, like he just got his ass handed to him. And Jason Todd as Robin saying like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm the new Robin. And then like, it's a whole elevator scene about like, man, this job is dope. You get to beat up bad guys. You get to drive the Batmobile. And Dick is like, he lets you drive the Batmobile. All that to say, they're both Robin in the show. He's Robin on Titans, and Todd is Robin on with Batman. That's, so is that that there can't be two? It's not just like a title. No, like we it are. All, it we is. Are. It's a title that is gets passed. Now there are the Robins, but there's there's different. So you have so Nightwing is a part of the Robins, and then you have Red Robin, mm-hmm. Robin. Mm-hmm. What's the other one? Another something robin or is jason todd a part of that red hood red hood so it's night nightwing red hood and then you have red robin and robin <laughs> yum wow <laughs> <laughs> i took me a second that was good that was good uh anyway so there are the quote-unquote robins but you don't have robin and robin like no. if if there's a robin that's because the previous robin moved on to something else Nightwing. Right. So Red if, Hood. If this is Dick Grayson post Batman, he should be Nightwing and he should be in Bloodhaven. Boom. And if they're gonna do that, then you can't and you if you want a Jason Todd Robin, totally, perfectly awesome, great, love it. Why is he Robin at the same time that Dick Grayson has moved on and for some reason kept the mantle of Robin? And that was half the point of him leaving is he didn't want to be Robin anymore. Yeah, that and in T in, in Teen Titans is it he? He's not left Batman. He just does his own side adventures. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense, Corey. Doesn't make sense. No. But yeah, so we got we got that clip. We got the promo pictures. We got some other pictures, and I will say because I feel like we should all say something nice. It's not all gonna be bad. It's it's gonna be pretty bad, but not every second of it. Uh, there was a <laughs> promotional picture released of the Flying Graysons. And the costumes for the Flying Graysons are fantastic. It's like a nice homage to the OG Robin costume. Well, specifically, the mom is an homage. Specifically, the mom. The, the, oh, the dad Robin. and Dick both have pants, and Robin never had pants. But, uh, yeah, the Flying Graysons costumes are great. But the rest of it is just, like, and then, uh, let's see. We can get a little bit into the this, this story of it, because they're starting to release... Um, sort of what it's going to be about, what they're, what the feeling they're going for. So they're, they're saying that they're going for, uh, it's drawing on Marv Wolfman and George Perez's seminal New Teen Titans comic series. That's the, that's the quote from them. Which, yes and no. 
Like, I'm already, they've already lost me on going with new Teen Titans with what they're saying. So let's, I'll just read you what they say. Uh, it says, when the drama begins, Dick is working as a detective in Detroit because he's trying to distance himself from the life of violence he led while he was Batman's sidekick. But then he meets Rachel, a troubled young girl and empath who just happens to be the daughter of a demon and asks Dick to help her understand her powers. Already lost me. Already gone. Already has nothing to do with new Teen Titans. I just... Uh, and then it kind and of why does she on. need a man to learn about her powers? Oh my god! No, see, here's here the thing. Go. Now you're trying to set her off. No, he is because we talked about this earlier, and he's saying it <laughs> as a joke. Which it's not fucking funny, David. No. <laughs> anyway, he's saying it it's as not, a joke. It's not a complete joke. I'm, I'm sorry. gonna kill you. I'm sorry. She's, I'm sorry. She's not kidding. <laughs> no. So David is saying it as a joke, but there is an, an element of that that's in there. Is when in in the New Teen Titans, Raven has grown up in Azeroth. She knows Trigon is her, is her father. She comes to Earth for a reason. She has a purpose. She brings the Titans together. She finds everybody. She knows how to control her powers. She's grown up with them. She doesn't need anybody's help with it. And she comes to Earth to say, hey, you all have powers. I have powers. We need to get together and defeat Trigon. But in this, they're kind of relegating her to this little girl who's scared, who doesn't understand herself, and who's going to the big, strong cop, like, please help me. I don't know how to do anything. And it's like, that's never the character that she was. Ever. And it's kind of infuriating that that's what they're going to try to I know, but they changed things a little bit. You know, it seems like with all the stuff that they've, decisions that they've made with the two Robins that's triggered David and then all this other stuff, it's like, they're clearly not thinking straight. It's like, it's like when your dad is on drugs. He's not really saying those things. It's the drugs talking. So you can't take this too seriously. This is the drugs talking from DC. The next time something you really, really love gets fucked up, I'm going to say that to you. <laughs> I was going to say... You can't take this too seriously, it was, Corey. It was very specific. I feel like that has been said to him before. I hope something horrible happens to Overwatch so I can say that. Oh, why would you ever wish oh, that yeah. on Overwatch? Oh, yeah. I went there. How dare you? Yeah. To be fair, I did say it as a joke to trigger Emma, but I don't disagree. I think that it's weird that they're doing that, and especially in this climate, I think it's a weird decision. Right, like she's a, if you're looking for a strong female character, which a lot of a lot of executives are, or a lot of you know companies are, because they want to at least appear to be somewhat current, then perfect you have your character right there she's incredibly powerful she knows how to control herself she knows what she's doing and she goes out and gets what she needs like and why are you turning her into a small child in the cartoon it kind of seemed like starfire was the more like innocent like yeah kind of like oh i need help kind of thing right yeah because she comes to earth like not knowing the language she doesn't know really where she is she in the new teen titans she's basically chased off her planet and ends up here yeah uh it's just I don't know what they're doing with it, especially if they're going to say they're basing it off the new Teen Titans from the 80s is already nothing like that, except for the fact that the 80s run was actually pretty dark and pretty mature, and they're just going physically dark. They're they just say, turning the brightness down on everything. Did they say fuck Batman in the original? They do like, not. You uh, know who see? never says that? Dick Grayson. It's true. Todd probably uh, said that a few times. All right. Well, now uh, you, I think we've effectively uh, killed, killed that everyone's buzz. <laughs> Anyone who listens to the show who might have been excited for that either is really mad at you right now or really sad. I mean, we've all been very sad the entire time. Teen well, Titans, or right, rather DC's Titans, premieres October 12th on the DC Universe. This whole thing was just an ad for them, really. A paid streaming service. Did you know... Uh, DC has been making some other waves with their oh movie God. franchises. Uh, so we didn't talk about this on the last week's show, but there's uh, rumors. Ow. There it is. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's a remix. Is it? Talk with you again. Yeah. What is this? Oh, he's playing two of them at the same time. Yes! Never before in the history of theme songs have you ever played two at the same time. Hey, 
Anyways, <laughs> there were some rumors no. going around in the DC world that uh, Henry Cavill was going to be replaced with uh, Michael B. Jordan. Okay, let's be very careful about how we word that. Because nothing here is confirmed. <laughs> That's what nothing said. here is even a little bit we confirmed. We said rumors. Yeah, but there's like no basis behind that. IGN a lot of reported rumors. on it, Emma. Like I said, there's no basis. So. It's pretty much confirmed that Henry Cavill's going to be replaced <laughs> with Michael B. Jordan, according to the internet. I mean, but if that happened, how would they tackle that? It's okay. Michael B. Jordan is not. Rep- There's literally nothing if, backing but, that up. But they if did. It did Emma. But they're not. <laughs> Corey, in your opinion, what is the best way for them to handle that transition? Don't say anything about it. You just, want us to get Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. go from one movie to the next movie, and it's all of a sudden Michael B. Jordan. And even when you do flashback scenes, cut back to the original one <laughs> after, <laughs> from the last movie, and then he's just a different guy. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan shows up. <laughs> your slide is like, man, fighting those demons is rough. You guys remember that? Remember when we fought those demons, you guys? <laughs> and it cuts to... The water guy was there. Henry Cavill throwing punches. <laughs> that would be the best. He doesn't know their names. He calls it Water Guy. <laughs> it's Supergirl. <laughs> I think that would be the way. But I was much more excited about the other rumor that John Hamm was going to replace Batman. And that's what I've been wanting since I was a little boy. Uh, uh, You've been wanting John Hamm since you were a little boy? Don't ask questions about Well, at first I wanted him to be my father, but now I'd, be, I'd settle for him being my Batman. I think he would be the best Batman of all time. Okay, so this one is from, like, is literally from the ham's mouth a rumor because he he just told a outlet that oh I w- I would like to be Batman, but and then he followed that up quickly with I've literally talked to nobody about being Batman. Like he shut that down pretty quickly. Hmm. But do we think he would be a good Batman? According to Emma, it doesn't matter because it's just a rumor. We can't have dreams. The bat- you can't have dreams. I'm saying you got to be careful about how you word it. I think the bat cape <laughs> would look very different. First off, there's going to be a wet bar in there. He would be the most badass, like, James Bond, Batman, all rolled into one, yeah. madman guy. And a good father. <laughs> Something about him just seems like he'd be a good dad. <laughs> if you we're going to do James, James Bond, what if Idris Elba was Batman? Ponder that for a minute. I mean, we're already gonna put Michael B. Jordan as Superman, so this is no fucks given about continuity. So, what if Idris Elba was Batman? Why are we talking about any of this? Because <laughs> it could be true. It could be true. We it, don't know. Maybe if by us saying this, it'll spawn a couple articles. Hang on. That's why I'm not saying nothing. Emma, I'm not saying nothing. Say Idris Emma, Elba is I will trying to use your powers for, for good. I will not use my powers for this. Why do you only use them to tear people down, but not to build people <laughs> up? <laughs> Say John Hamm is Corey's dad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up at the door with adoption paper. He wakes up tomorrow morning and John's like, wake up, son. Would you like some breakfast? Just one tear down my cheek. Oh, my God. Thank you, Emma. The worst part of this is, like, just DC needs to fucking pick a direction and stick with it. <laughs> Stop starting and stopping and starting and stopping. Just... Pick your direction. You've got one right now. Stick with it. Fix it. Make it work. You don't need to completely redo everything you've spent the last, you know, five years doing. No, they do need to redo everything. They need to redo everything. Simple fix. Simple fix. Barry Allen goes back in time, creates Flashpoint. It's a different timeline. Everything is different. Well, we are getting a Flashpoint movie. So, there we go. So, there he's going to go back in time. He's going to mess things up. He's going to come back. Realize this messed up. Go back, try and fix it, and create a separate timeline that's very close to the actual timeline, except John Diggle has a son and not a daughter. And then <laughs> they can start completely over and do this right. Because Mar- they're not going to be competing with Marvel anymore. Because for them to do that, the Marvel Cinematic Universe will be pretty much at an end for this iteration of it. We all know it's going to eventually get remade. But... For this iteration, it'll be pretty much done. So they have all the time. They have no competition trying to rush to beat things. That's nice. clearly not how they see it. Yeah. It's just, it's if I just ran DC, infuriating. If you were in DC? If I ran DC, it'd be in tip-top shape. 
All right. Tippy top I'm sheet. sure that'd it's be the just... first line of the PowerPoint during the tip during the board shape. meeting. Since David Webb took over, things have been tip top shape. It's Tippy just... top. I just don't understand this need to completely because what they did is they fucked themselves because they were competing so hard with Marvel that they're like, we need to have this team up movie right now. And it's going to be terrible, but we need it right now because they have the Avengers. We need the Justice League. We cannot wait to build up these characters and introduce them in ways that make sense to the story. No, we're going to throw all of them in the same movie and you don't know any of them. Peace. Go. And it just, it didn't work. It clearly didn't work. And now they're like, oh shit, we should have done that. We're going to restart everything. Oh, what else? Do we have any stories to make people happy? Uh, Nintendo, Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct. Hey, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Um, I'm waiting on you guys because you guys watched it. Oh my gosh, they had everything. A bunch of like uh, very specific ports. They were bringing ports. I don't know, man. I skipped to the good parts. Um, the, the good parts. Uh, Mario Party looks fucking amazing. Yeah, just as we thought it was. Definitely day one buy. That's gonna be the party game. Also, uh, they introduced a new Smash character, Isabel, from Animal Crossing. Yeah. It a, was, very, a very violent character, I hear. A very good fighter. It was a giant debate because it was like, it looked like Animal Crossing said not actual gameplay footage. She gets a letter in the mail. It's all animal style, like her voice, the music, and everything. And she's like casually, oh, I got an invitation to the Smash tournament. I guess I'm going. And then it's unveiled, and they show like the vignette, and wow. it, uh, it didn't look like the best character. I'm not uh, bending over backwards to get my hands on it. Uh, did you see any of the memes or anything? Because it did spawn some memes and stuff. I saw some. It was like pair. It was her and like um, I don't know, like some some other like random character from the Smash. Like, oh, now they're teammates. I'm like, what? There, there was thoughts it was going to be an Echo Fighter. Because this is... Echo the Dolphin? No. Yep. <laughs> then I don't know it. <laughs> Echo and the Dolphin would be the best OP. Like, would. I would buy a Switch for that. Would you? For, for Echo the Dolphin and Smash Ultimate? You're I'd buy a Switch for that. You're the only one. That's the, fine. The Echo Fighters are like... Uh, they've kind of always existed. You know how like Captain Falcon was always just basically Star Fox? Yeah. The moves were pretty much the exact same, but the pacing of his moves was a little bit different. So they make minor tweaks, but largely his abilities were the same. And people would get start getting pissed when Marth and Roy were pretty much the same, and like they, right. they kept doing more and more of these, and like Pikachu and Pichu, and finally they just gave it a title. They're like, "All right, this upcoming game we're having Echo Fighters, and now you'll have Samus and Dark Samus." And now when they reveal Echo Fighters, people are kind of hyped. Yeah, it's just so, because they gave it a name. You've been doing this. Yeah, people used to get so tight when there was like a, a, an Echo or a character that was the same, but you call it Echo and now everyone's excited. So there was thoughts that Penelope or Isabella was going to be an Echo fighter of uh, Villager, but nope, she has her own move sets, full abilities. Uh, looks really goofy doing it, but uh, clearly everyone was expecting Waluigi. Everyone in in my circles was just hoping. I was wondering, I'm like this this like little farmer. This little farmer got into to Smash Ultimate, but still no Waluigi. Waluigi, wow. man, they fucking hate Waluigi. Wow. When they do put him in there, he better be just baller as hell. Like from the tennis game with the rose in his mouth, and he's a being Echo character of uh, Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> if they gave him the Echo treatment, that'd be that'd be pretty poop. Uh, uh, although, speaking of Smash Bros. Ultimate, they did announce a bundle. Yeah, a Switch bundle. Yeah, I mean it's okay. It's got like a specially designed Switch dock, and it's like its own Joy-Con. Is it not like a big thing for the the for, for Smash Bros? It, well, I don't know. I, I think it, they played it really safe with it because it just the the base, which you're only gonna see at your house because mm -hmm. it's a portable console, so whatever. So, it, but it's got like etched in the characters on each side that famous you know Smash Bros look, and then the Joy Cons come complete with the little metal piece have the Smash logo on there so it's just an aesthetic thing yeah yeah 100 percent. i thought the the pikachu one was way more interesting with like the yellow and the you're gonna get the pikachu switch yeah are you really no oh <laughs> are you kidding me i already got one switch what do i need two for do you have your switch back by the way yeah oh nice yeah it came back super quick switch back. shout outs to uh, nintendo's repair center <laughs> I know people were hella hype about final fantasy because they bring in seven nine ten and twelve uh, yeah, and they looked really good. People were excited. Yeah. The, you know, 
there was a lot to be said. So this this direct was delayed because there was a a giant earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's supposed to be last week, and so people had been kind of waiting, and so I, I and then when it finally came, a lot of the videos they showed had like terrible frame rate, and it looked so bad that I kind of was thinking this can't be like the footage. This has to be just like the I don't know the guy who who helped make this video did a bad export or something like there's no way it could yeah. be this bad because you could literally count the frames on Ooh. some of these screens a little powerpoint presentation yeah it was really just bad they're clicking the thing really fast to try and make it look like a video yeah yeah that's what it felt like like a flip book uh. <laughs> so I, I i don't i don't know i i don't think that was an accurate representation of what you're also going to get but that being said all the final fantasy ones still looked the best out of everything else can we talk about um the pokemon rpg not Town. a Pokemon RPG. It's oh, not it's Pokemon. Not Pokemon it's RPG. by the developers of Pokemon, but it's not a Pokemon game. Oh. Okay. Wait, what is this? The developers of Pokemon uh, Game Freak are making a new RPG for the Switch, but it's not Pokemon related. <gasps> that's kind Have of a bummer. Have they made anything else? I don't think so. And that's Google it. that's the thing, though, is we were told that we were getting a new Pokemon game. But it's going to be an RPG style. When they announced, let's go Eevee, let's go Pikachu. And they're like, they, this isn't it. This isn't it. There's another one coming out. Yeah, look, it's a new IP. Oh, okay. I did see this one. I missed the beginning. This is where I came in on the thing. So, yeah, it's called Town. And the whole game, I guess, takes place in the town that's being constantly attacked by giant monsters. It, looks like, it kind of looks like uh, Breath of the Wild. It has an animated... Uh, look, I believe it looked like it was a turn-based strategy game. I, I don't know. It didn't look awful. I don't like turn-based games. But Game Freak making anything besides Pokemon just doesn't sound natural. Well, and the fact that we were told it was a Pokemon RPG game. Yeah. I don't think you were. We were. I Joe think you were told there's a Pokemon RPG coming. I don't think you were told that this is it. Oh, so there's still another RPG that they're working there's on. There's still another Pokemon. Pokemon game. Oh, my God. Huh. I don't know. It looks it looks okay. I don't know. It wasn't the most exciting thing. Uh, they announced the Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. Oh which, yeah. It's the first one in like five years, isn't it? I, longer than that, right? Uh, let's see. I wrote it down somewhere. If I go back to my notes, because I'm a total professional and I have these at a glance. Um, it's the first new game in the series since 2013. So yeah. Jeez. Dang, five years. But there's no like release date or anything. It was just like a little teaser. Yeah. It was, like a 30 second teaser. They uh. They've given him a a bad a bum rap, I think, Luigi. He never gets his come up and Didn't he just die? They just fucking murdered him <laughs> in the last uh Nintendo Direct. Well, and then this time they come crawling back by giving him a series, but again. There's there's a fan theory that he's actually been dead for since before Oh my god. Mario and sixty four. See, people get out of hand with these fan theories. This is like the Beatles people saying that Paul McCartney is died and that the current Paul McCartney was like a replacement a replacement Could McCartney be. yeah so McCartney I diet I wouldn't look what <laughs> I not wouldn't. quite the same McCartney zero I wouldn't look into these uh these allegations too much would, would you call them rumors no I mean, unconfirmed I, statements I played two okay but okay so here's here challenge can you play three at the no, same time? No, Webb, I will murder you in your sleep. The world isn't ready, David. The world isn't ready. I just broke one world record. Do you want me to do two? Uh, what else we got? Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I guess, is coming to Switch. Ooh. But it sounded like it was going to be episodic, maybe? And it's digital only. There's no physical copy. <laughs> or, like, streaming only, I mean. Okay. We got 32 not. megabytes of space on your Switch. <laughs> yeah, it's streaming only. So is this going to be like just to hold people over to the next major game? Are they? Is this even like going to be a full Assassin's Creed release? I think it's the game. I think they're just releasing it in part. I mean, let's be real. I didn't watch it. You guys watched it. I'm counting on you guys to to, to carry me here because I didn't watch the Nintendo thing. Uh, I'm just telling you what I <laughs> the heard. The Nintendo thing. Can you like seal your your disdain for Nintendo? What did Nintendo I do to you? I don't have disdain. It I seems am, like they did. I am indifferent to Nintendo. Annoyingly indifferent. Nobody's I indifferent to Nintendo. I have no opinion one way or the other. I feel like you're chaotic neutral I, to Nintendo. I appreciate what they've done for the industry, but I, I physically cannot consume all the media. There is too much media. 
So Nintendo is just over here, and I'm like, I appreciate that you exist, but I don't consume that media. Why do you... Would, would it's you a play choice. Nintendo it's a conscious choice that you're making. Yeah, because I'm not going to spend $400 on a console. Somebody gives you, Again. Somebody gifts you a Nintendo Switch. Do you play Nintendo games? I mean, I, I might, but I don't think there's any that I really want to play. I don't think I, there's anybody that, that I really care about. Hmm. You've never played Super Mario World? No. Oh. That's a tragedy. We end the show on a tragedy. Do you want to end it on, on a high note? Do I do. Do you want to end it on an uptick? Please. Uh, apparently, we are getting the first Captain Marvel teaser on Tuesday morning. <gasps> oh. oh, boy. What do you want? What are you hoping to see? Everything. You, you know what? You know what? I'm... Uh, I'm gonna expect nothing. I'm gonna go in disappointed. That's good. Wow. Because you can only come out on top. You can only come out on top, yeah. number one. And number two, the big thing that we have to remember here is it's a Captain Marvel teaser. It's a teaser. It's not a full trailer. It's a teaser. It's a teaser. So, so it's gonna be not, short. It's gonna be short. It's only gonna be a minute instead of three minutes. So it's only so much time they can play to that. But yes, apparently we're gonna get it. Good morning, America. Tuesday morning, September 18th. Which is actually good because we've been kind of expecting this for a while since they put her on the cover of Entertainment Weekly this month. Generally you... follows is a trailer, so. Did they already have the uh, Emmys? Do we miss that? Nope. That is this weekend. Oh, it might be tomorrow. Who's might winning be tomorrow it? Night. Who's winning it all, Emma? I am actually not up on the Emmys noms. You just Elba as Batman. <laughs> if it's not John Hamm, I don't care. Thank you guys so much for listening to this week's episode of the Video Game Bang. As we said before, uh, there's this cool little trick if you're uh, watching the show on Twitch. If you have an Amazon Prime account, it enables you to get one free subscription every month. And you have to re-up it, but it does help this show keep the lights on, everybody. Keep the lights on. Uh, we're also going to be having some interesting shows coming up. I think I'm going to be out of town on Wednesday. Yep. So Web's hosting. Woo! Party in the studio! If today's show is any indication, it's going to be a death in the studio between you two because I'm not going to be here to keep you guys from fucking murdering we each fucking, other. We were both angry, but we were both angry at the same thing. We had a common enemy. Not at each other. Okay. If anything, we're going to be taking down DC on Wednesday. You're going to come back on Thursday. You're going to wake up Thursday morning, and DC's... Not gonna exist anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. DC EU is not gonna exist anymore. CU. And it's DC current form. CU. Yes, in its current form. Oh yes. my god, why am I so worried? I've never been more worried about an episode, but. Get the uh, fuck out, we're gonna have a great time! Yeah, it'll be some good ratings, I guess. Um, What else we gotta warn the people about? Anything in particular you guys can think of? Um. David, what you streaming this week? This week, oh, what am I? You know what? I'm going to probably play a new game this week, but I haven't decided what it is yet. Oh, let's say, what, what game is that? Is I'm, it a surprise? No. So I'm toying with the idea of trying Hearthstone. Oh. Didn't you just start WoW? You're yeah. just making your way through all the all the Battle.net games. Over you got to have more than like half an hour in WoW before you go to Hearthstone. This is a couple hours. I have like 14 hours in WoW. Wow. I feel like it's not true. Um. Yeah. So we'll see. All right, Emma, what you uh, what you gonna be playing this week? Uh, this week will probably be a mix of Tomb Raider and Creative because I need to buckle down on New York Comic Con costumes. Ooh, Ivy Doom Kitty will be out there. Hopefully, you two can meet up. That would be a lot of fun. And then, of course, we have TwitchCon coming up, uh, which we're looking super forward to. Lots of good stuff. It's gonna be a good year. We got a good remainder of the year. The, the best games have yet to come out. We have Red Dead Redemption, Smash Bros, and uh, it's we're getting into leak season too, where there's gonna be some. So there's going to be uh, Call of Duty is going to come out. There's going to be a lot of good stuff. What? Spyro, if they're, they're going to delay it again. No, they better not. They better not. 2020. Uh, November my... 13th? Did okay. you guys know they're making a new Toe Jam and Earl? The hell is that? <gasps> I thought that was a rumor. No, it's, it's happening. It I happen? follow them on Twitter. I was trying to win a giveaway. They're giving away like... So Toe Jam and Earl, it's... Was it sponsored by Vast.gg? <laughs> yeah, it was actually. Um, it's an old the two aliens, the hip hop aliens that crash landed on Earth from Funkatron. Okay, I believe you. All right, this is this is the part where we end the show because I feel really really old. Thank you guys so much for listening to this week's episode. Uh, for the real David Webb, my name is Corey Vincent. Emma Skies is here too, <laughs> saying you've just been banged. <laughs>